My name is Dan Genovese, product manager at OMG Roofing Products, the inventors of the game-changing roofing system known as RhinoBond. And this is the Metal Rhino Podcast, where we talk everything metal. Not heavy metal, but instead RhinoBond for standing seam metal retrofit roofing. From Miami, Florida, best roofing. All right. And we also have with us here today, Connor Kilburn, our top salesman for OMG. And Connor, take a minute here to introduce our team. Hi, I'm Connor Kilburn, the South Florida rep for OMG, and we have Bobby Haddix and Zach Tower from Best Roofing. Thanks for joining us. Thank you guys for having us. Excellent, excellent. You know, uh, obviously in Florida, we're just coming off a hurricane, and, uh, and, uh, and, and I'm glad you can make it out of Florida in time, but you're in South Florida, so not didn't really get affected from that market, right? No, nah, we're more on the East Coast, so it's the West Coast that's taking it right now, and it's leading up north, but... We were able to squeeze out last night and get around those bands and get up here safely to join you guys. Yeah, that's amazing. That's amazing. Well, excellent. So we're going to ask you some questions about the Rhino Bond for standing seam metal roofing, and I understand you guys do a lot of that. And you know, uh, how long have you been using Rhino Bond in general? That's a hard number to put out. Ever since you guys first started producing it, we picked up and started running with it. It's been a very great innovation for us. Yeah, excellent, excellent. And uh, so. How long does it take a crew to get acclimated? We, you know, we, we, we hear sometimes, you know, some contractors think it's a little complicated to start out just to get just to get used to it. How long does it take for a, your crew to, to, to get it? Not that long. It's a very simple process to get used to. Um, there's a couple things you need to look for, but we have a great training facility in our office and we dedicate that time to train every individual to get acclimated to these systems. So we are producing the best out there in the field. Okay. All right. So you come across come across a building owner who's got a standing seam metal roof it's getting pretty beat up uh, they're considering different things coatings metal overlay uh, what, what what's your sales angle to to sell to sell rhino bond for this application I mean really we're talking first of all the condition of the roof right what's your goal you know you're keeping this building you're trying to fix and flip the building you're selling it in two years you're keeping it for 20 years mm -hmm. we got to start there Anyone that's going to be a legacy building owner, they're going to keep that building, they have people working inside. It always makes sense. Keep the roof in place. If the roof still structurally has structural integrity, we can attach to it. Keep it in place. No reason to tear that roof off. Rhino Bond allows us to go right over top of it. And then we can also add insulation through a flute fill system, which then they're also going to see an impact on their cooling cost, especially in Florida. That, that's a big deal. Sure. You have people working inside of a warehouse, adding some more insulation is never a bad idea. Okay. All right. What's your angle against a metal overlay? They want to put a new metal roof over a metal roof, and uh, how, do you, how are you going to upsell Rhino Bond on that? Cost. You know, why, why spend the extra cost for a second metal roof? Mm -hmm. What's it for? You know, let's put a 20-year Rhino Bond system on this roof. You're good to go. We'll take care of it. See you again in 20 years. Excellent. Excellent. I like that. I like that. Um, tell us about your most recent Rhino Bond standing seam metal roof. How did it go? What? What? Give me some details. What? What, was, what kind of building was it? It was actually um, in an executive airport, um, housed a bunch of airplanes. So it was a very unique kind job. Of important. Oh yeah, um, had to be careful with any debris or dust falling down, getting on these expensive planes. So um, that's what it was. All right, uh, what size crew did you have out there? Eight man crew. Okay, all right, very good. And uh, I assume you hit the purlins? Yes, sir. Absolutely, absolutely. Got to hit them down there with that high velocity hurricane zone. Is, is that a code? Is that a requirement? Because um, again, uh, I, I, we do see and we do hear contractors still doing fully adhered roofs uh, on metal and you know getting weak pulls. And I don't understand how or why, but what, what's going on there? No, it's nothing I would recommend. I mean, down there with the high velocity hurricane, hurricane zones and the high pressures that we got to try to achieve within these projects, um, it's a lot easier to go the Rhino Bond way to make mm -hmm. sure you're getting it, the roof that you're qualified for. So like, like Claudia mentioned, we, in Broward, Miami, we have the only high velocity hurricane wind zones in the country. So we're, we're building roofs like no one else in the country. Right. So when you make a product, you manufacture an innovation, make a product, they bring it to us and it's something that makes it easier for us to achieve those codes that we have to hit. We're always going to go that route, right? So okay. it's, it's always a, a partnership between your innovations and then bringing it to us, showing us how it meets the codes and then us being able to train our crews on their ease of use and then transferring that cost savings, that time savings to the client as the end user. Okay, so let's say it's, let's say uh, I'm considering doing a mechanically attached roof, uh, you know, um, 
What are the benefits to Rhino Bond? I know there's a waste factor there, and does that does that take up a lot of cost and time, fastening, and then um, you know compared to Rhino Bond with the the non waste factor, is that a big deal? You know, down there in South Florida, rainy all year round. One thing with Rhino Bond, I can drop that insulation, I can start kicking out rolls after it's attached. I'm not stuck mechanically attaching a lap six inches on center, worrying about rolling out adhesive when I got a storm approaching. Mm -hmm. I can get those rolls rolled out, tack that roof down to make sure that our client is in a safe standings when that storm comes in, and then we can move on. So the labor that it saves for us and the crews that are out in the field is tremendous. Excellent, excellent. Kind of what do you think? What's going on down there with the contractors? And uh, you know, how long does it take them to get acclimated? It doesn't take that long. Right? Yeah, I would say typically, uh, I would say typically, um, I usually, when it's a new user, I try to stay out there for at least two or three days. Um, usually by lunchtime, they've kind of got the hang of it, but then you kind of want to go out the second and third day just to make sure they're still flowing good and uh you know with different weather conditions some days you might have to adapt a little bit so mm -hmm. yeah but i'd say a couple days at most most crews can adapt pretty quick okay yeah all right so let's say uh you're in a you're in an elevator at a trade show and there's another good contractor there not in your market of course right and uh they don't do rhino bond G give me a give me an elevator speech for rhino bond what, what, what how does that how does that help a contractor how, how are you going to help this contractor in the elevator what's what's the spin I mean, really, for us, it, it adds a tool to the arsenal, mm -hmm. uh, and especially when we talk about recovers. So when you talk about recovers, you can recover with a Rhino Bond system. You get the, the benefits of the mechanical attachment into the deck, but then you also get the benefits of being almost a fully adhered system as well. So it's like a hybrid system for us that we use for a lot of recovers. So we achieve, achieve the wind uplift, the no tearing off, cost savings, okay, and then ease of installation. You can train a crew how to use it. You teach them how to stencil it, how to chalk lines, whatever your method is. They get it and they run with it. Excellent. So, guys, thank you very much for coming on. I really do appreciate it, and thanks for your business. So, Thank you All for right. having us. Excellent. All right. We'll see you soon.